Hello, welcome back. In this session, I will continue to pick up where we left in the last session and talk about how to use SynchroScript to calculate um, budget direct cost in SynchroPro. Previously, we have talked about that the budgeted direct cost can be manually input to the column in the Gantt chart. So here in this case, we will use SynchroScript to calculate the budgeted direct cost based on the unit price and the concrete volume. For the rate, I have manually input the values based on the unit price in the rate column in Gantt chart. So next, we will use Synchro user field formula to calculate the concrete volume for each task. First, I will go to the 3D objects panel and unload other models and only load the structure model. And then I will uh, go to, for example, a pile objects to check the user fields in the 3D properties or resource properties panel. And actually, there is no useful information, so I continue to check a pile cap. And uh, I have the volume user field, but it is of string type, so we cannot use it for the calculation. Synchro provides a feature to calculate volumes directly from 3D modeling and 3D objects instead of taking advantage of the data. So we can use that feature. Go to user fields. I have pre-created a user fields called volume, V-O-L, just to differentiate from the volume user field. And uh, you can see the detail of the formula is summing up 3D volumes based on the calculation. I hit OK to close this window, and I go to Resources panel to select all the concrete resources. I select volumes, floors, roofs, structural foundations and walls. And I go back to user fields panel and I click on the VOL user field and recalculate values. Here, please make sure that processed objects are changed to selected instead of all root. It gives you the warning that the shell is not closed so the measurement may not be accurate. It's okay, we can ignore these warnings just for this training. Now if I click a random pile or other resource, I can go to Resource Properties panel and User Fields panel and I can see there's a new user field VOL created. I can continue to calculate the total volume of each task by clicking on the total volume user field in the task user field and recalculate values. Make sure you toggle the processed objects to all root this time to make it effective for all the tasks. We can customize columns and show the total volume user views. So with the total volume and rate, we can continue to calculate direct cost by simply multiplying user field rate by the user field uh, total volume. So I can hit recalculate values. For precise objects, let's choose all root. And then you can see the direct cost is uh, reflected in the direct cost column in the Gantt chart. And that's actually the direct cost based on the volume and the unit price. And then I will go to project controls and use SynchroScript to migrate the direct cost to the budgeted direct cost properties. So here I right click in the blank and I can choose to either add an external script from the txt file or add a blank file from here. So the first parameter is the objects that I want to process which is task. And the second parameter is set property which is the command. For set property, the first parameter inside of the set property command is the property that you want to change. And here the property is budgeted direct cost. And the second parameter is the user field value. Direct cost. 
So with this syntax, we will uh, simply migrate the direct cost value to the budgeted direct cost property. I can hit preview to check my uh, calculation results. And you can see for those tasks that have the value direct cost, the argument is the value. Okay. So I can hit run and check the result. I hit close. And you can see the budget direct cost has some values in it. And all the tasks that have a concrete resource has some value as the budgeted direct cost. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.